Hi, I'm Hannah from Single Track, and I'm here with David Turner again. And last time I saw him, I asked you about e-bikes. And, yep. uh, and then I stood here for a while while you talked about e-bikes. <laughs> and then this time, we were standing talking about the past, and you said, old is mold. So there'll be, there'll be retro bike people, like, crying, going, oh my god. Like, how come you don't treasure the old stuff that, you, that you've got? Well, it, the truth is, is that I, I, I discard and or uh, offload trash, even, um, old stuff. And I just don't, I don't know why, but it holds no, you know, my old designs, um, they're the past. And I, I can look at them and say, oh, I do appreciate the work, you know, my work. I could be proud of that dropout. But I just don't want the whole bike or a frame laying around, taking up space. Um, it, it doesn't mean anything to me because I'm never gonna ride it. So I try to keep stuff that is still usable. And if it's not usable, and it isn't just bicycles, it's other stuff. I just try not to collect stuff. Okay, so it's, it's a general life thing. It's not, yes. it's not exclusive with bicycles. Anti-hoarding. Oh, well, I can get with that, yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, are you living in the present then, riding the bikes that you wanna ride now? That. Yes, yes, I'm, so several years ago we started making a uh, aluminum aluminium. cyclocross bike. Oh, aluminium, <laughs> spelled different, aluminium cyclocross bike. And then of course it quickly led to riding it on dirt roads, off sea, you know, throughout most of the year, etc. And then of course this thing called gravel. And it happened, you know, internationally. and. Uh, over time, ended up working with titanium, and I basically just started going towards bikes that, again, like you, you so succinctly put, it's like, these are the bikes I want to ride. So I'm riding, you know, either, well, first of all, riding gravel bikes on mountain bike trails, you quickly figure out that they're really not the best tool for the job. So that led to the hardtail mountain bike, which I know is sacrilege for Turner bikes because we did... 20 plus years of full suspension only and you know but i'm really enjoying riding the hardtail mountain bike as well as the gravel because of the maybe it's the the challenge of riding the same type of train that i have for so long or going places and and picking new lines so it's not that you can't ride the hardtail or even a gravel bike um on rougher train it's you you the, the excitement is in riding that terrain differently. Yeah. Viewing it differently. It's the same damn piece of dirt, but you can you can ride it so many different ways depending on what you're riding. And I'm enjoying the challenge, really enjoying the challenge. So you don't fancy the challenge then of riding your trails on, on one of the bikes from early, early days then? Okay, so, all right. <laughs> Full disclosure, there is an event in Southern California that has a vintage race and I do have a 94 uh, Turner burner okay. that I have raced in it um, and honestly um, I get I won't do it again I get the stink eye <laughs> because people look at it and they they don't think it's really old enough right oh. it's a full suspension bike with cantilever brakes right and you know it's truly right down to the the fork a 1994 but when the word vintage is for this race, this specific race, obviously, is uh, thrown about, it's the bikes that are 10 years older, right? The, the old, you know, fully Just rigid. It's not old enough. Yeah. It's not old enough. It's kind of, it's, ca it's caught in the middle. So now maybe, maybe next year I'll bring it and just go for it. Um, but yeah, that was the thing is I showed up, I was the only one on full suspension. And uh, it, I kind of got this, nobody wanted to talk to me. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> They're all Victor Vicente fans. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Otis Guy, Steve Potts, you know, uh, Steve Potts, old stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was truly old. And so uh, you said that you've got some things you've got to get rid of. There might be people watching who are in love with old but not that old, 1994 frames. Yeah. So, uh, so what, what have you got in the cave that you're thinking about throwing away or selling? Uh, well, what's left in the cave is, I think, 
I, I wouldn't throw it away because it's um, boy, talk about contradictions <laughs> because uh, it's like some of the p stuff I've pitched in the past have been you know five to ten year old stuff that I just you know chop it up recycle it uh -huh. throwing away of course we do it responsibly yeah but the stuff that like the I've got a few old DH bikes right of the various models and I'm not gonna ever ride a 26 inch DH bike but I know that there's people out there that we've been talking about off camera that <laughs> are collecting that kind of stuff and that's yeah. pretty cool Crispy. Um, for <laughs> them uh, for them. <laughs> uh, I might have their contact details. If you want to get in touch and you're watching, I'll put you in touch with David. Yeah, you can have first refusal. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'll send pictures. <laughs> cool. So, old is mold and uh, now is great. What's coming in the future? Have you got any ideas for what what's going to take you next? Are you going to go down country? Well, actually, I believe the nitrous is down country. Oh, okay. So, the nitrous hardtail. Who knows? Make it up. You know? Right? So, it's a down country hardtail. So, to me, down country means, you know, applying the geometry advancements that the whole mountain bike industry has experienced in the last five to seven years to a shorter travel bike. So, I've just taken it to a hardtail. Right. So, you know, the, the nitrous is uh, much longer reach, much longer top tube effective top tube and of course much slacker head angle than you know anything that I did you know in 15, 14, 13 uh, model years yeah. so that's to me a down country but it's a down country hardtail. Well okay so cross country is going full suspension because it's getting gnarlier so how about a, a, a new turner burner that's for the new cross country? Any chance? We're nothing's in the works right now right. but I'm always thinking about it. Yeah, um, yeah you got it. It's my. It, it's. I don't know if it's an obsession or a job or. A, I don't know what it is, but it. I can't ever quit thinking about it. It's just a matter of being able to have the bandwidth to get it all going. Right. Cool. Well, we will. We will get out of your hair so that you've got more bandwidth to think about the new things. So right. thanks very much for your time. Thank you, Hannah.